and the most stories, the supplementary budget proposed by the Federal Executive Council, FEC, for the Independent National Electoral Commission has raised suspicions. The allocation of 18 billion naira for Bayelsa, Imo and Kogi state elections has become a primary concern to stakeholders considering that INEC had already received funds for the off-circle elections. Transition Monitoring Group in a press briefing today in Abuja questioned the allocation as he alleged that it was released for vote buying and election manipulation. They also urged the federal government to clarify the, pur the purpose of this additional budget and address public concerns about the, its potential misuse. The allocation of a whooping 18 billion Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to facilitate the conduct of Bayelsa, Imo, and Koji election is completely shocking as INEC had assured that pawns for the upcycle election were part of the pawns received ahead of um, the general election. To this end, the Commission had since gone ahead perfect preparations towards the election without any complaint about funding. What part of the election is this supplementary budget of 1.8 billion, billion, sorry, 18 billion, um, looking to cover? Nigerians perceive this allocation as a very suspicious and the peer that it could be allocation to perpetrate malpractices. Hence, the federal government must explain this uh, huge sum of money and why it is budgeting again for what has already been budgeted for. INEC um, resident commissioners have equally confirmed that they have received all the money needed. Why must then government budget another 18 billion when INEC did not ask? I think it is important that government of Tinubu should be more transparent and prudent in spending of public taxpayers' money. And on the issue of security concerns in Imo, Kogi, and Bayelsa State, where widespread violence has been reported in various local government areas ahead of the November 11, 2023 general. Um, off-season off elections. They called on security agencies to ensure citizens can vote without fear. On the back of this evidence that are uh, there before us and the public, the Transition Monitoring Group (TMG) would like to remain very. Uh, would like to remind all the stakeholders, uh, especially political actors, that election are not war, but a democratic exercise aimed at giving the people the chance to freely elect and decide those who govern them. This balanced conduct are undemocratic and pose zero threat to the development of democracy in Nigeria. It is important for the security agencies to ensure citizens can vote in peaceful uh, electoral atmosphere across the three states. Any attempt to deprive the voters who legitimately have been registered and probably accredited to vote, if any violence or any group of people creates violence to deprive them, that would be absolutely unfortunate and we must do everything possible to prevent that from happening.